In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about Figma's pen tool. And whether you wanna create icons or shapes or illustrations, make sure you stay till the end for some bonus stuff. Let's go. All right, so the absolute first thing we'll look at is obviously, where do we find the pen tool? In the top here, you can see the pen icon. When you hover it, it says pen and it has a P. Well, you can hit that P and then you have the pen tool. As soon as you start creating a path like this, you're gonna see that something else appears. And this is called the pen tool. You're gonna see how that is used in just a bit. Let's go over to styling. Styling with paths in the pen tool can be applied to both individual points and the whole shape. So we have the fill. So if we create something, let's create a square just here to the left. You can see that we have the fill option. So I can hit plus, add a fill. That is gonna be applied to the whole shape. We also have the stroke option. I can change the stroke width. I can change where it's positioned. Is it in the center, on the inside, on the outside? I can go into the advanced settings and change the stroke style. Is it gonna be dashed? Is it gonna be solid? These things are all gonna apply to the whole shape, but we have some things that won't apply to the whole shape. So for example, you have the join setting here. The join setting is just for you to manipulate how corners or a point is curved. So let's take the top right, for example. I target that and I hit bevel. You can see that we create a bevel in the top right. I can change it to rounded as well. We'll get rounded just in this corner where I selected the individual point. We could also do corner radius on a single point. So if I hit this left top corner and I go to the corner radius settings, I can start playing around with the corner radius for just this individual point. I could also do the whole shape. And if I target the whole shape now, you can see how it's mixed here. I could click that and just hit a random number and it's gonna to apply to the whole shape. So that's styling with your paths and with your pen tool. Let's jump down to actually creating a basic shape here. So I'll create a shape. And when I do that, I'm gonna hold down shift because when I hold down shift, I get this snapping kind of thing where I don't have to make sure myself with my limbs that are shaking that I hit the straight paths. If I hold down shift, it's gonna give me the help I need to create very nice straight paths. So that's a good one to keep in mind. Now we have some rounding here, so I can remove that by going back to the corner radius settings, hit zero. So that's a basic shape. If we go into complex shapes, here we can do it in a couple of different ways. We can combine the pen and the bend tool, or we could just use the cursor. If we combine the pen and bend tool, we can do something like this. We create our path. Then I go to the bend tool, I click it, and then I can just hit these individual points with the bend tool and it's gonna bend them. I could also click and not release and start manipulating it myself. So that's one way of doing it. We could also just pick the pen tool, click a point, and then before we click the next point, I can hold down my mouse key or my mouse button, or in this case, I'm using a trackpad. So I'm just holding it down like this and I can start manipulating it. And I can do that for every single point that I create. And that's creating complex shapes. Now we have some bonus stuff. And these things are pretty handy to keep in the toolbox when you're using the pen tool. Let's look at the first one. We have shift plus backspace or delete. So if I create a path here, create a little rectangular shape. Now, if I click into it, double click on the shape, I target this top right corner and I hit backspace. You can see that it opens up the path again. If I don't want that, I could hold down shift and click backspace and it's gonna remain intact. Now, if we wanna target different points in our path, I could use the move tool to you know, target several things. I can target everything or just one point or two points. We could also target two points, hold down shift and target the rest of the points if we want to. We could also just target one, two, three, four, 
by using shift. So that's quite handy to know as well. Then going back to the bend tool, we have an option here that says mirror angle. So right now when I move this handle here, you can see that the other side of the handle just mirrors it. And in some cases, we might not want that. And in those cases, we could use Alt or Option to remove that mirroring effect. So now we're just manipulating the handle that I have targeted here. Another quite easy trick to get quickly out of your shapes is to hit Escape twice. So you create something like this, and you want to get out of it, Escape twice, and you're back to just the Move tool, and you can do whatever you want. And the last one is going to be the Paint Bucket tool. So if we click the shape again, you can see this icon in the top left that says Paint Bucket. We click that, and we can add and remove fills from our shape very easily. We could also use the Fill option in the right corner. Something else that you can use the Pen tool for is masking. And I happen to have a video on masking that you really should check out. Now, until the next one, have a good one, and we'll talk soon. Ciao.